Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So if you watched last Thursday's new book preview video that Rebecca did, one of the things that she talked about in that video, as well as she's talked about this multiple times, is the fact that she really enjoys short story collections and the ones that she's really drawn to are the ones that are like a little bit off or a little bit weird or they have this sort of just like different element to them. And while she was talking about that something sort of clicked in my head and I realized that those are actually not the short story collections that I really enjoy. The ones that I enjoy are the ones that are more realistic and tend to be slightly more like historical fiction or it's just like you know general short story fiction but they all are just very much grounded in reality. So I thought I would make a quick video just talking about some of the short story collections that I really enjoy that are very much like like realistic fiction. So if you are someone who doesn't like things that are slightly more weird and magical in your short stories, then these are probably collections that you will really enjoy. And again, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with those other types of short story collections. Those are just not the ones that I prefer. So the first one I'm going to recommend is In the Country by Mia Alvar. Another reason why I wanted to make this video is because I recently finished this collection of short stories and I wanted to recommend it to people. This collection of short stories specifically focuses on people from the Philippines. It either takes place in the Philippines or it follows people as they emigrate out of Philippines into various parts of the world, specifically mostly the United States and the Middle East. I really enjoyed this collection of short stories. It came highly recommended by a bunch of different people at Book Riot. Um, so I was very excited when I got to pick it up when I was recently on vacation. There are so many things I really enjoyed about this piece. One is the fact that it focuses on Filipino people, which I feel like is something that I don't really see very often in any sort of fiction. Another thing that I really enjoy is the fact that she talks about this diaspora that happened that I personally had no real idea of because it's just like a part of history that I never learned about. I had no idea that there was such a high concentration of Filipino people in the Middle East and so being able to explore all of that as well as just explore the general ideas of like loneliness and finding your place and finding people that you connect with and all of those different things that just come in general with immigration and traveling to new places and starting families in a whole bunch of different places. I just really, really enjoyed all of that. And so if you are someone who's looking for a relatively newish short story collection, obviously it's not that new because it's out in paperback, I highly recommend this one. Of course, it can't be a short story recommendation video for me unless I recommend Jhumpa Lahiri's Unaccustomed Earth. Jhumpa Lahiri is a pretty well-known writer at this point, and if you haven't picked up her books yet, I can't recommend her enough. If it was possible, I would recommend her in just all of my videos. I'm specifically recommending Unaccustomed Earth because it's personally my favorite collection of hers. She also has a collection called Interpreter of Maladies, and that one is the one that won her the Pulitzer Prize. I think what I like about this one is the fact that she focuses on eight different stories, and it's a pretty significantly sized book, so she's able to dig a little bit deeper into each story and to provide a little bit more depth, which is also something that I really look for in short story collections. When the stories are too short, I always feel like I'm left hanging a little bit, like I always want a little bit more, and so a really great short story collection just feels complete at the end of each story and Jhumpa Lahiri definitely does that. Similar to the previous collection this one also explores a lot of different people in a whole lot of different parts of the world and just looking into the choices that they've made so far in their lives and the choices that they have to make and just it's just such a great great collection that really digs deep into the psyche of different people and it explores different emotions and different reactions that people have and the choices that they have to make and the choices that they've already made. It's just so fantastic. If you haven't read Jhumpa Lahiri yet, I don't really know what you're waiting for at this point. And the final recommendation that I have is The Women of Brewster Place by Gloria Naylor. This I think is technically categorized as a novel, but it feels more like a short story collection to me of just interconnected stories. You are following a different person who lives on Brewster Place, obviously. Um, so every chapter you follow a different person and so you see like the characters overlap a little bit because they all live in the same apartment complex. It's a really fantastic collection that looks at the lives of these black people who live in New York City living in this specific neighborhood, um, what life was like for them. It follows through like a couple of generations as well so you get to see the people in the place sort of progress and evolve or devolve in certain situations. It's just really really fantastic. If you're someone who likes historical fiction at all this is definitely a book worth picking up. I think especially because they're interconnected stories you get a little bit more depth again to all of the characters because you get to see them sort of grow and change over time a little bit even though you don't 
necessarily just follow one character. So yeah, those are just a couple of recommendations for you guys. If you're someone who really enjoys realistic short fiction as well, definitely leave a comment down below with your favorites. I would love to see what else is out there that you guys would recommend because I'm always on the lookout for stuff like this. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!